That was one of the hardest things, is that I had envisioned who this little boy was going to be. And then he was born different than I envisioned. Will she be able to work? Will she be okay when we die? I had a lot of people tell me that she's not gonna be able to do this, she's not gonna be able to do that. I thought we're never gonna be empty nesters. There's always gonna be somebody. Just a lot of negative thinking. Like, I'm never gonna have a kid who gets married and, and he's not gonna be able to have all of these things that other typical kids have. It's just a completely different journey. And it was pretty negative at first. I had a hard time letting go of the imaginary baby that I had envisioned and all the things that she was gonna do. When we get into the school system, are we gonna be the only ones fighting for him to be the best that he can be? Are they gonna be like, oh, he's a burden. Let's put him in the corner and, and focus on the kids that can do. But when you watch her grow and her little personality just blossomed, you have to let that go because she's, she's not who you had envisioned. They should have been saying yes He's gonna be able to do all these things. He's gonna be able to... These individuals with Down syndrome, they can do all these things. It just takes them a little bit longer. I think I would just emphasize how normal your life is going to be, despite how different you're expecting it to be. And I would just say it's like raising a kid in slow motion. <laughs> Someone once told us that. I love that. But it's like we were hanging out with friends last night and their one-year-old was doing the exact same things that he was doing. And he's two, so it's like we get to raise a one-year-old for two years and that's really cool because we don't have to try and... Yes, it still goes by really fast, but we don't have to try and be like, we wish things would slow down. That's really cool. You know, I'm eligible to retire. So I'm gonna retire after she has heart surgery. The fact that I'm doing that is gonna shock a lot of people. And people thought I was gonna be more ambitious with my career. I probably would have had I had more time. But I see myself going in a different direction where there's some sort of advocacy. And when they're a baby, all they want from you is for you to love them unconditionally. That's it, that's all you have to do and everything else will just fall into place. Just, you don't be the reason for any of their limitations. Let them live life to the fullest. Expect the most from them and then custom tailor it like you would with any other kid.